Right, morning carpers. Welcome to my next instalment. Um, and we're gonna go straight in with a fish. Uh, got down here straight after work again. Rods, one rod has been out 20 minutes. I was just trying to sort my other one out. And I've got a fish already. Oh, and he's lively, to say the least. Only 12 pound five comment. Single krill bottom bait on the Ronnie again. So, to fish into David's pole. And for 20 minutes work, there we go. Oh, crush. He is lovely, isn't he? I hate it when they're like this. Why can't they just play ball, like, can it? Ah, right, you're going back in because you're doing my napper in now. Right, for 20 minutes work, 12 pound, four ounces. We're not a chicken dinner. <laughs> right, he's going back now. Right, I'll catch you later on. I've got loads of stuff to sort out. Right, catch you in a bit. Going back where you go, mate. You're going away. That's your way. There you go. Good how you hold the brother. And that's one happy angler. Right, well, good morning, carpers. Um, let's roll back. Good morning to this week's vlog. Um, we started it with a fish today. Hey, um, yes. What can we say? Um, come down after a night shift, exactly the same as I normally would. Um, fishing social back this time, uh, purely because didn't see a lot boshing around um, and no fish a lot of fish have been coming out over this side and it was about to lash it down so i figured it was a good place to start as any so i managed to get everything set up and get in the dry in un, underneath the bivy to keep dry before the heavens come and then i was out in the rain uh setting up setting all the rods up then so yeah but basically um i put my i've done my Le uh, left hand rod which was on my bottom bait on my Ronnie rig on the, on the cool boilie put that to, to the post on the left hand side of the post um, and within 20 minutes it was away um, to be fair, I thought it was a bream I did think it was a bream at the start because it just, it just come at me it, it literally come at me um, didn't even realise it think it was a carp but in the end it was so that means already the pressure is off no blanks so happy days so yeah so right hand rod uh so yeah mid let's run through the rods so left hand rod my usual running rig bottom bait uh middle rod pva bag um just get krill pellets um a couple of tiger uh, bigger some eight mil krill pellets uh, i think they're 10 12 mil they're definitely bigger tiger nut pellets with real short hook link baked bit of corn um inline lead setup so yeah, we're gonna try a bit of that, try and just play around with the PVA bags, set up a bit as well. Um, just get just get better at another method, at least tying it, whether or not it catch me fish, I'll swap it. Later on I might go onto using a wafter with it and, or even a pop-up and whittle it down and we we'll see, we we'll play it by ear. But that, so that's that rod. And then my third rod, I've got as a zig. Um, so I caught my first fish on a zig two weeks ago in linear, but that is a zig water, a lot of fish get caught. This isn't. So, I don't know, people I spoke to down in Linear said, just because it's only six to eight foot deep, don't mean you can't fish zigs. They said, if no one fishes them, fish zigs, you, you probably smash the place up. So, I don't know, I don't know about that, but we're, we're gonna give it a go. So, we're just gonna see if we can, if we can work out the depth on this one. So it is, I've plumbed out eight foot deep where I am. No, sorry, seven foot deep, seven and a half. 
so yeah, so I've done. I've gone with what do I go with? Four and a half foot zig to start off with. So yeah, because the bloke, the bloke that I was talking to, now uh, like he might not be no zig guru, but he had eleven fish on there, so he knows his stuff. Um, but he basically said if the fish are in the upper layer, like cruising across the top, uh, that's the first. That's one foot out of, off the, off the water. Put it two foot under that. So I've taken three foot off. So the seven half foot, that's why I've dropped it down to four half foot. That's, that's where I've gone with that one anyway. So as you can hear, the kettle is boiling. I am absolutely parched. Um, so yeah, but basically the rods are out now. Um, and we're gonna, well, we're gonna, we're gonna get some shot out, I think we need to. We'll pull off a night shift again. And if I don't get some shot out, tend to get a bit lazy in my fishing. I, I, I know that, so, especially with the last two sessions down here, it's been mega, mega hot, and I haven't had sleep, and I have got lazy when fishing. I had early fish, and then sort of like it fizzled out. So the key is here, now this week, is we're not gonna, we're not gonna, we're gonna get some good sleep, a couple of hours, and then hopefully, progress, and work at it. Um, I'll spam it out, over the top as well. Um, so again, this is exactly the same as what I was using down in linear, because uh, I've had it left, left over. So I'll put probably about, maybe two kilos, maybe a kilo and a half to, to two kilos, across the three spots, to basically draw a line. I, do you know what I mean? It's, they're all at 17 wraps. Um, that's where the pole is. So, and it's, it's easier, isn't it? To, if you've got one spawn rod, three rods, all at the same distance, so it's easier. So that's that's that. that, that. So yeah, so it's raining again. It's giving a bit on and off till at least this afternoon, and then it's supposed to come out nice again. So yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna chill out. We're gonna get this cup of tea down us. Maybe even have a couple of biscuits, and. Um, yeah see, what, yeah, see if we can get some sleep, maybe, and go from there. But it'll catch up, and um, we're off the mark. So when I win a chicken dinner and all that, let's hope we can get another one, and maybe even three. Because I've only ever got two out of here. So three, four, five would be awesome. So, yeah. Right. Catch you later. Do, uh, I reeled in my rod in uh, to put a bit of fresh bait on it, so I thought I'd show you the rig that seems to be working for me down this on this lake lately. Um, it's, it's, it's a Ronnie, um, but with a bottom bait. So all it is, I've got two in there. Obviously, uh, lead clip system. Uh, I just pull that off. I used the, uh, you can see the spinner rig. Uh, put a bit of anti tangle sleeve in over it. Uh, standard braid that is braided line onto the other another spinner rig right there with a also I think I got the wide gape on there uh, hybrid wide gape uh, and then all I do is I literally rather than have you have a pop up you'd have it coming off if you can see that the sun's out now don't come out all I do is straighten it out and put it right around the top um, so it's literally dead in line. And it, and it seems to work. So I just thought I'd show you that. So add a little something else into the, these videos. So yeah, so I'm gonna get this back out now and uh, hopefully it'll bring me some more fishes. So, right, catch you later. All right, so just a real quick update. I've lost two fish on the bounce. Um, literally, one after the other. First of all, it was a left-hand rod. 
to the left of the pole. Um, it was on, really, and then gone, book pull. Uh, and then, so quickly wrapped it up, got it back on the spot, chucked some more spoms out over there. Um, and then within probably five minutes, 10 minutes of doing that, my middle rod, which was the PVA bag, um, which I changed to be fair, it was it was with a bit of corn and I, I then put a bit of tiger on it. Um, that one went, went off and again on and then off, but a, a lot quicker. So yeah, so I'm a bit gutted because I could have been on three fish already, but as it stands, it's only one because we've lost two. So, but hopefully it means I've found I'm in the right spots. I keep applying the bait. I keep I keep working at it, and uh, they will come. Nothing on the zig yet, um, so we're going to give it a fair chance. We will give it a fair chance, um, but I've tied up some rigs for later on. If it doesn't produce, then we, we move back onto a, a bottom bait or a pop up or whatever it may be. So and come off the zigs. So that's it for now. Uh, hopefully, next time you see me, it'll be with a fish. Right, catch you later. Right. You just edit them then, do you? Yeah. Welcome back, Carpers. And mate, Gary has landed his first fish of the session. So, it's only fair that we show you that as well. Yeah, so, another, another, another angry common. Long, lean fish. It is really long, isn't it? They are angry at the minute, uh, aren't they? A bad behaved. Very badly behaved as well. <laughs> it's a trapeze artist. Yeah, get him up, there guy. There he is, 12 pound of pure muscle. Absolutely screamed off. Always when cooking dinner. And what's the, what's the vlog magic word? If you watch watched my vlogs, you know it. When I have watched it. Oh, oh, I, I have put, him on, my, I put him on my vlogs and he don't even watch them. I've watched one or two. Right, you've got to say winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, hey, right, I'm going to take some stills with his camera. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll come back with you later on and I'll have a fish. Or, or even Gar might have another one. So. Right, catch you later. Right, evening fellow carpers. It is looking mighty prime out there. Um, rods were all done, we've had some grub. That was a lovely bit of uh, tikka, chicken tikka stir fry. It was absolutely nom nom. So the rods were all done, repositioned. Um, I've put two on the pole, uh, two, two Ronnies on the pole. Well, I've gone one with a bottom, one with a pop-up. Uh, whittle down pop-up. To make it pretty keep balanced uh, and my pva bag and i've seen a little it's almost like it surfacing fish and bits of movement over there not as far out so i've used a pva bag as a as a bit of a roaming rod so that's it that's just gone up there for now um but all the spots have been baited and it's now a waiting game so we've got absolutely lovely evening compared to how the day started off as it is looking mint so, yeah, so fingers crossed. I mean, it looks like I've got this movement out there a little bit. I know Gary's got movement over in his, on his spots as well. He's had a couple of little pick-me-ups, but no, uh, no solid takes. I haven't really had any pick-me-ups, but we will wait and see and wonder. So, but it's looking good. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to chill out now and enjoy this for what it is. And um, hopefully I'll get back with you later on tonight with a lump maybe even two so it would be nice wouldn't it so we could be away early in the morning so it would be good so right i'm gonna catch you later hopefully see you later It is bloody, it's got bloody cold, but there's a fish. Don't know, but it sunk me. Um, right, what are we looking at? A 22, 22 pound 12 mirror. With some lovely, uh, slices. I don't know if this apple slice or not. Not too sure, I'll have time to check some photos. But a couple of lovely scales on it. Alright, go out, Blake. Play more. Well, there we go. 
22 pound, 12 ounces, taking on the krill bottom bait again. This time though, tip with a bit of corn. Well happy with that. Don't mind getting out of bed for that, do you? Not at all. Let's flip around. Man. We will take that all day long. So yeah, well happy. So what do you say? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's get it back. Right, morning carpers. Um, a lot later than anticipated, so uh, it's going to be a short one and you're going to get a wiggle on because, uh, to be fair, I wanted to be gone by now. But the bed was too nice, so I slept. Um, I had a few more bleeps on my right hand rod about six o'clock this morning, um, but it didn't materialise into a run. So, but there you go, we've had two fish out, so again, two fish, so I'll, I'll get consistent. Do you know what I mean? It seems to be two every time down here at the minute, so I'll take that. I'll take that. That was a nice, nice big mirror uh, early hours of this morning, so well chuffed with that. So, yeah, so all in all, another good fishing trip. So, um, what else is there? Oh, yeah, f f to all you that have subscribed already, thank you very much, and I hope you're enjoying these. And obviously, if you, if you, if you like this sort of thing and you haven't subscribed, hit that button. Do you know what I mean? Uh, might as well. Hey. So, yeah, that's it, really. I'm going to sign out on a nice short one because I'm going to get me wet before any of this rain comes. So, but once again, thanks for watching. Tight lines in your fishing. I hope you bag some lumps and that. And I'll catch you next time on the bank. Ta-da!